Well, new tonight at 11, the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources hosted its final public discussion about declines in the blue crab population. And that happened in Merle's Inlet as DNR invited locals to have a say in what should be done to try to slow down the decline. News 13's Adriana Lawrence is live outside the Merle's Inlet Community Center tonight where that meeting was held. And uh, Adriana, did the locals have anything to say today? And if they did, what did they say? Bob, Annette, yes, they did. No one knows this area better than the local fishers. Many tonight said there needs to be more limitations and more monitoring. The SEDNR held discussions in two cities before this one. They found the blue crab decline is mainly in the fall and water temperature and salinity impact the population. They say the crabs have been on the decline since the 1990s. During public comment, the overarching solutions local added was to not allow out of state residents to fish or crab and to put a limit on fishing licenses per year. Other people said the DNR needs to be out monitoring the size of crabs people catch before they take them home. Gary Weinrich with Preserve Merle's Inlet told me he thinks these kinds of discussions between state departments and locals are crucial for maintaining the ecosystem. Doesn't seem to be any connection between what we learn from the scientists and the, and the fisheries folks and the rules and ordinances and things that are being passed at the county level. Officials with the DNR say they'll take what was discussed tonight at public input and report it back to state legislation. Live in Merle's Inlet, Adriana Lawrence, News 13.